here you can upgrade to three olives for a dollar. Seriously, these olives, which should be free, cost more than the chicken wings. What's up guys, this is Alan and welcome to another episode of the Off The Clock Podcast. And today I want to take a look at probably on probably one of the worst cocktail menus I've ever seen. And uh, here it is. This was posted to me. Uh, actually, it wasn't sent to me, but I saw it on a bartender group. And this guy posted this from his work, so I blurred out the workplace. Uh, but yeah, well, let's take a look at that and why this menu is horrible. Okay, so first of all, take a look at the menu itself. There is like, it's not even clean. There's like sand down here or possibly mold. Okay, but anyways, regardless, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm talking about how this menu is organized and why it's horrible. Let's get started from top to bottom. So this says a loaded Bloody Mary. $3 Bloody Mary with an olive and lemon or lime. Why do why does the guest have to choose between a lemon or a lime? Like three dollar Bloody Mary. What is the profit margin off of this? Like I'm curious what kind of vodka they're using. Okay, let's let's go back to that in a second. Let's take a look down here. Upgrade to Tito's for just two hundred and fifty dollars. Just kidding. It's two dollars and fifty cents. But look how small that decimal is. People are gonna see that and say, ugh. I'm not going to pay $250 for a Bloody Mary. And second, this essentially doubles the price of this base of Bloody Mary. Okay, let's look at that. Mathematically, you just doubled the price of this Bloody Mary. Okay, so $6, you know, or $5.50, uh, that's, you know, pretty decent price for a Bloody Mary. But take a look at these upgrades. A shrimp skewer for a dollar each, you know, that's not bad. But you already added, okay, so it's four plus, you know, 550. So this also doubles the price, you know, which probably makes sense. But now it becomes to more of a price range of what you expect out of a Bloody Mary, you know, you know, 10 bucks. Okay. But check out this here. This, the profit margin off of this seems pretty good because, you know, the upcharge that you're adding, it dramatically increases the the price of the drink but look at this what's next bacon for 50 cents what and then down here you have celery for 25 cents seriously you're gonna charge people for celery who would want to do this upgrade celery All right and that's not even the other that's not that's not even the main problem check this out why are you highlighting the cheapest upgrades of this cocktail? Like, you're supposed to have people drawn in to the most profitable items. Okay? Like, why? This is not... This is also very confusing. Like, what? Like what's the purpose of the, the difference in font size? <laughs> it kind of reminds me of those toxic, you know, boyfriend t-shirts where every line is a different font and different size like the one that says like oh I have the you know best girlfriend ever but if you take a look at her I'll like uh, kill you and they'll never find a body like those kind of t-shirts that's what this menu reminds me of, of those toxic boyfriend uh, t-shirts okay <laughs> so let's take a look on this cheeseburger slider three dollars that seems reasonable but how are you gonna put the slider on this like how big is a slider like chicken wings okay how many chicken wings one because you know 65 cents for a wing is pretty sweet you know it's a pretty sweet deal but it says wings so how many two so let's say it is no more than one which is let's say two two wings for 65 cents how much is that gonna make like what's the profit margin on that like, are you really going to make that much money? Like, I understand that it might dramatically increase the, the the price of the cocktail, but the kitchen is going to have to eat up this cost. Like, 65 cents? 
again, okay, let's go down one more. Celery. We talked about this on, you know, 25 cents. Like this, I can't imagine anyone would intentionally want to add celery for 25 cents when it should be free. Like this is almost an insult to the customer. Like we're going to sell our loaded Bloody Mary, but we're going to nickel and dime you all the way to the, you know, as much as we can. Like you're going back to this, like you only get one olive. Oh, but look at here. You can upgrade to three olives for a dollar. Seriously, this should be free. Why is it not included? Like you're going to really charge people a dollar. These, <laughs> these olives, that's what doesn't make sense. Okay, this doesn't make sense. Why are these olives, which should be free, cost more than, than the chicken wings? I, like, what's the logic here? And this one doesn't make sense. The next one, the cocktail shrimp. Why is it 65 cents and this is $4? So you get four for four dollars. So this is a dollar shrimp, but a cocktail shrimp is sixty-five cents. Like, what is the logic? What like the person who designed this? Do they understand, you know, costs? Like, how much profit are you making from each item here? Okay, you start off with this Bloody Mary, which is only three dollars. Like. What vodka are you using? Are you using like a plastic jug that you get from a Safeway for this? And also like when you upgrade for T, you know, upgrade to Tito's for two fifty, dollars so that'll bring up to $5.50 Bloody Mary. That's still pretty freaking cheap. Like how much are they putting? Are they putting like half an ounce of vodka in this? Oh, this is the, the, the last but not least upgrade Old Bay Rim for 50 cents. You have to pay for the rim. This is, you can probably get a can of Old Bay for 50 cents and they're gonna charge you. Like, seriously, like, this should not be, this is how they're gonna make money by nickel and diming the crap out of guests. Like, this loaded Bloody Mary is not loaded at all. It doesn't even give you an option to buy it loaded. You have to, like, manually say, I'll do this, I want this, this, this. Like, can you imagine the bartender who a server who has to take this order and then make it? The bartenders have to make it. You get like six Bloody Marys and each of them have these little minor details. And then you have to run it to the table. Oh, who has the bacon, wings, blue chief olive, and old bay receipt one? Is it? And then you look at, oh wait, with this one has Tito's. You have six Tito's ones with <laughs> bacon slider, and then you got this three of them have like doesn't have Tito's but has the same upgrades. You're like, uh, which is which here? And then you got, oh crap, wait, was it the Tito's with the lemon or the lime? Like, <laughs> this is like not only a nightmare to take the order of, but a nightmare for the kitchen, assuming maybe they make it to order or not. Probably they're not making it to order, but this is going to suck for the food costs. And then you, the bartender has to make it, make these Bloody Marys, which are all different in some nuance, <laughs> if you can call it nuance, these minor details. And then the server has to run these drinks to the table and present the correct ones to the correct person, uh, to the correct guest. Like, what's the point of this? Is it trying to make money? Like, even if you added all these, this might cost like, what is it? Three plus, so that's five fifty, sixteen dollars $16. Like, all this hassle to make $16. And some of these items should be free. And other things are way too cheap. Like this chicken wing. Wings for 65 cents. <laughs> like looking at this just makes me angry. I feel bad for the people who have to work at this place who has to sell this thing. And the manager was like, ha ha ha, I am so smart. Look at, I put boxes on this $3 thing. I made the cheapest upgrades, the largest. And I have the audacity to charge people for things that normally are free. Yeah, that's our signature Bloody Mary here where half the things that are in the drink 
<laughs> should be, you know, should not cost anything to the customer. Like, why not just charge it $12 and it comes with half of these things? That's how it should be. Well, anyways, let me know what you think about this menu or maybe you've seen some other horrible menu designs or horrible like upcharges that you've seen on menus before. And uh, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.